What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, after a little bit of testing, I've decided we're not going to go to Furumazula just yet. You could, uh, but I think it would be better. We're going to go through all of the consecrated snowfields. We'll reach the Halleck Tree. Then we'll do all of Furumazula. Then we're going to do the Halleck Tree. And then we're going to bring it on home. So, with that being said, hop on over to the Grand Lift of Rold. And we're going to use our secret medallion. mentioned this before but you just head on up we should get a prompt right up here to uh, basically just interact tab on over to it there we go holy secret And here we are, the path to the consecrated snowfields. Uh, so this area is just a short little, kind of like, I guess a connecting catacomb would be a good way to describe it. Probably the best thing we get through this, we'll be able to get uh, one of these up to plus 25. I'm still not sure. I'm leaning, I'm, I don't know, I'm really torn because I love my halberd, but I do play with that a lot. So I'm leaning more towards the great stars, I think. But it's it's hard to say, man. It's really hard to say. So anyway, hidden path to the Hallow Tree. Just head on through. Like I said, this is effectively like a mini catacomb. Pretty short and sweet. Uh, having a shield here is going to be fantastic. There's just a lot of... Uh, a lot of those little beast men dudes. So... Being able to block and shut them down is going to be great. And actually, we could switch our shield up. There's nothing... Uh, we don't need to worry about fire anymore, so... Well, actually, no. There is one more thing that'll have some fire. Those shield bashes. Alright. Oh, grab the warming stone and that white flesh. Of course, killing one of those, we pick up the land octopus ovary as always. Let's go on top off. So, as we head on ahead real fast, I want to point this out. We're going to be going down here for uh, access to, like, a hidden boss. But before we do that, there are some beast dudes. Let's see, there's three of them, and there's an octopus. So, we're just kind of waiting. We want to try and lure the beast men on over without the octopus. We don't want to fight all that stuff at the same time, of course. That's one. Two. Oh, that was a very, very unfortunate play on your part. Uh, I want to try it. Let me try a Prelice Charge here. Let's see. See, I mean, there's something about the stagger of a strike that it's just very satisfying, you know? Like, that's, that's juicy. Just boom, boom. Alright, so after that, we're going to head up ahead just for a little bit here. There's a couple more loots we're going to grab. wonder instead of you it's my taker's cameo let me put that i'm curious how much i get um we want to grab this grace real fast now you can rest if you want i wouldn't recommend it um there's not much left to the zone and i mean we obviously haven't used much but it's just easier to grab that grace now later on we're going to be by that window so we can pop right back out but just having that grace in the event that you die is obviously quite helpful 
So run on down. We got some invisible paths. These ones are significantly easier than the last ones. This first one, just walk on off. And you see that doorway? Just run straight at it. That's it. Don't even need to worry about stones or anything. This one is very straightforward. I'm going to grab the ghost glove wart. The one over here. Get the silver scarab. Uh, that's a talisman that increases your luck. So if you're trying to farm up a certain weapon or a piece of armor, excellent, excellent thing to use. Uh, for this, just run straight on over to this next one. God, I got death. That scythe went through. What I actually did, it like popped me from behind, which was quite unfortunate. But we can just run back down there. It's fine. Honestly, let me just put back on my fang. Until I get this thing upgraded, I'm honestly better off just using the fang. Uh, where did it spawn us anyway? Oh, over here. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Well, we can get over there quite fast. Do, 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 do. My fat rolling. I don't think so. No, we are. We're heavy load. Well, let me take you off. Don't have the faith to use you. Let me put you on for now. Sacramental Bud. I'm gonna pop this since I lost access to a bunch of stuff. Walk on out, and we want to right there. You can see how there's another doorway. Now this is going to slope down. And then as soon as you come in, there's another one right here. I think that's the thing. I need to use my shield bash a lot more. I have actually have very little experience with the great shields in PvE. I, I've played with them a good bit in PvP, uh, but very little PvE experience, and I think I'm not using my bash enough. So jump on down, like this, and then from there you can see a, uh, a squid. Kind of give that a little taste of rotten breath. There we go, it's nice. Uh, now, right where that squid's at, there's actually a whole bunch of bullshit down there. You can see them all. I don't know if we can hit them all, but I'm gonna try. Because that'll just make life a lot easier, you know? Get all those guys out of the way, and then, uh... Three shield bashes. This stuff. Ooh, vulgar militia saw. Actually, didn't I get one earlier? I'm trying to remember. I think I did. Jump and smash him. See, this is where that take your uh, take your uh, cameo is actually really nice. It's like instances like that. I still don't know what I want. Maybe Lord of Bloods. I do get bleed a lot. Twenty percent attack power boost on bleed would be really nice. Oh god, there's so much I can choose from. I just don't know. I don't know what's right. This build doesn't have like a clear identity. Uh, so in this room, there are a couple. We are gonna just kind of get them to look at us and then back up. Let's make things a little bit easier. There should be four total. Yeah, 
Yeah, Shield Bash is actually like, re really good. It's amazingly good. It's murdered all of them. Uh, let me see. Grave Nine, Silver Scarab. Beastmen and their buddies out the door for another Beastman, one through the doorway. Uh, Hero Rune Window, snipe the squid down, two more beasties. Kill them and then grab the lever. Everybody and then roll off. Let's go there. Wait, the lever. Oh, the lever. We almost went right past the lever. <laughs> right here. Alright. So this is another mimic boss. Uh, you know, the same. Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna this well, let me let's give it a hammer. I wanna do something funny here. There can be only one. Go, go on, get him. Get him. All right, Cowboy's Mimic goes for bleed. The other Mimic going straight on the attack. He's also trying to bleed. Oh, and there's trading hits. They're going away. The Stray Mimic already getting a couple pops in. Gets hit pretty hard from behind. It tries to cast, but there's nothing there. Cowboy's Mimic looks for an opening, but misses it. What is he doing? Oh, a big hit, but ends up getting hit. The poison not holding out. Stray Mimic looking to cast, but can't seemingly figure it out. A jumping attack also whiffs. And so far in the Mimic to Mimic battle, Stray looks like it may be pulling ahead. Oh, Cowboy's Mimic coming in with that Prelate's Charge. A big chunk of damage on the Stray. Stray with a jumping attack, but takes a juicy hit. Oh, and he hits him with his own pellet Charge, trying to heal on up. Things aren't looking too good, folks. This is neck and neck. Oh, a big hit coming in from Cowboy's Mimic. Tossing the Stray in the air. It's down to about 50%. Throws out the knives. I love them both trying to cast, but they don't have the FP to do it. Uh, all right, well, that's... I think that's enough of that. Let's... Anyway... As much as I would love to give Mimic on uh, Mimic commentary the whole time, I think uh, you know, there's other things we need to do. But yeah, you know, if you if you ever wanted to like see what would happen, Mimic vs. Mimic, just do it up. Grab that Death Root. Of course, we have Black Flame Monk Amon, which is basically just a better version of the uh, the Flame Monk that we already got. And now, instead of using that thing to warp us on out, we're going to go this way. And over here, we're going to take an elevator on up. I'm going to put my goodie back on. I got two Militia Souls there. I might have had them before. I want to pick up the Spell Drake Talisman, and then if you were to drop out here... That's right, all that stuff respawned. Uh, but here we are, right at the grace. So, go on and hit that. Uh, and with that, I believe we have what we need to wrap up this quest line. So, over to the Bestial Sanctum. We'll turn in this and the other death route that we previously grabbed. So the final two, we got Garonk's Beast Claw, which is a nice AoE spell, as well as an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. His quest line is all finished at this point. He's going to disappear, so you don't got to worry about him anymore. He's gone. Uh, hop on over to Round Table Hold real fast. Before this next zone, we have to do a Imp Upgrade. What I mean by Imp Upgrade is literally our Imps. Uh, there is a tower, and the solution to the tower is Imp on Imp Action. Not the kind that you find on Cinemax. So go on over. Where are our imps set? I never. Ah, oh, there they are. Um, you don't need to get them super high. I think plus eight, plus nine, right around there. That's good. Great. Um, from there, let's head on over. Welcome to the Consecrated Snowfields. Uh, now, obviously, we don't have a map yet, so that is our first priority before we do anything else here. 
just kind of head north and you can see a couple of little light posts on the ground. Those are meant to, to kind of guide you, uh, but we're really just heading north and a little bit more. And there we go with our grace. So luckily for you, I already have a map, um, but just to kind of put out where we're going, we're going to go over here, right around here. You can kind of see it, but there's going to be a bit of an elevation shift. Um, so we want to like swing here and then swing to there. And our game plan here is to, we're going to run through this. Not going to really worry about loot. Uh, some things like right under us will pick it up, obviously, while we're moving. But the biggest thing here is we want to get the map uncovered. Because otherwise, trying to navigate you around in this area is going to be absolute hell. Uh, the whole thing is is like this. Well, not the whole thing, but a huge chunk of it. The start of the zone, at least, is, is like this, where it's just covered in fog and you can't really see anything. So that's fun. Very reminiscent of the terrible... Dark Souls 2 DLC, where we just wandered around in a snowstorm over and over again. There we go. That was one of the ledges. And alright, I think we've passed the second one. Yes, we have. Alright, we are out of the snowstorm. Um, real fast, there we go. Let's see, there is a grace right there. We're going to snag that. That's the inner snowfield grace. We're going to get three graces on this run as well. Basically the south, the middle, and the north of this area. Make it easy to come back later. that and then the last grace we want to get is right here and for lucky i'm gonna actually go down to the river and then run up there's an invasion that should happen around here it's been very inconsistent for me uh since the 1.03 patch but i'm gonna run along the river now just to oh yes it's gonna happen fantastic fantastic okay we need this invasion so that's good we can ignore them they're guarding a shiny we can get that in a bit uh, but this invasion will get us a sombering plus 10. I believe it's a Sombering, but it's Anastasia. You've killed her before. You already know the, the the deal with this lady. Oh, you got madness. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. So if that doesn't, if the invasion doesn't happen, uh, basically from like where we just were, just kind of run along that river. Uh, you might be able to like swing here and swing up here a little bit. But on when we were doing all the notes and all the prep for this, it would not happen. So at the same time, that same Anastasia, she wouldn't invade us at the second zone on the prep streams. So I'm, I'm thankful it happened here. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems a little weird in 1.03. I was having issues with it before, but it's going to heal a little bit. We're not worried about that. We're just kind of running straight on through to get the grace for now. And we can see the light of grace right there. There we go. Wonderful. All right. Um, let's see. We got the second grace. We got the Ordina grace. Okay, let's start. Well, I was going to start down there, but since that invasion already triggered, I'm thinking maybe there's some other things we do. No, let's just follow the notes like I had planned. Um, so from this, the Consecrated Snowfield, we're going to go here, uh, right by like this little lip right here. There should be a cookbook we can get. Um, there's some loot that's like over here, some loot around here. And ultimately, we're making our way over to here. So make those five markings. And then we're going to head on over to the snowfield and kind of head on out for each of them. You know, similar to the mountaintops of the Giants, uh, this place is also... Uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's very, very heavy on the, um, the nothingness. Like, there's, there's stuff out here. 
but you're not going to be like, oh, we'll just find stuff really wandering around. It's all very much kind of centrally located and whatnot. Uh, so we have some stuff over here. Those shinies are on the side of the cliff, the, the shiny beetles you can hear. It's just like health and mana ones, so don't worry about that. Picking up all of these. And we're going to fight this guy. Wake up. Shoot the rotten battle hammer and his helm. It's pretty nice. It's basically since they, they removed the uh, the battle hammer, the rotten is just, it's like the same thing except it has rot on it. So not too shabby, right? Uh, there, let's head on over to two. And there's a caravan that we might also hit along this route. It depends kind of how fast we're moving. You know, it's a caravan, it moves, so. Not sure if we'll hit her or not, but we will pick up the cookbook. Right around here. It's our second marker. Where are you? Where are you? Getting over towards the uh and I might need to take this. Oh my god, oh my god! Jesus. Yeah, this area sucks, doesn't it? This actually makes things a little easier. It's the notes I wrote to start from the grace again. So it's northeast of the grace. Okay. Well, let's grab that and then we'll go grab our runes. So, pass those guys. Uh, let's see. Second grace, north of the duelist cookbook, the shiny on the way to the catacombs. All right, well, here's the shiny beetle. We got him. That means that the cookbook is somewhere, somewhere between like that, and it's like right in this area, but everything around here just sucks to try and see. There is that damn cookbook. There it is, God, see, look at that. So, the exact spot. I mean, it's so, in, like, this this place sucks. You're just, like, literally wandering and hoping that you're in the exact location. Alright, oh, uh, shoot on over. There's tons of Rhyme Crystal Buds around here, so don't worry about picking them up. Uh, over here we have a Golden Seed. Of course, those are relevant at this point. Golden Rune. Let's head towards four, see if we can catch the... We're gonna catch it, we're gonna catch the Caravan. Seeing lots of dudes. It's a good sign. No? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where's that caravan at? I know what we'll do. Start from the grace. Because if we start from the grace, it's going to reset the caravan's progress, and we should be able to run right into it. So this time we'll just head straight, pretty much straight for that, uh, that five marker. This is where we got the shiny beetle. Should be coming up on that caravan any second now. Yep, there it is. Worked like a charm. So the biggest threat here is the... I was going to say the page, but apparently this dog is trying to show me that he is the biggest threat. I catch up before it's gone. Where'd it go? Like it was going... Eh. Eh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see it. You, stop calling reinforcements. And you, stop moving. Oh, 
all that work, and what do we get? We get a torch that can put people to sleep. All right, so now we're going to head on over to our marker number five. Yeah, the caravan, it's its weird. It, like, kind of snakes through this area, but this whole upper zone, everything is like this. You can't, you can't see anything, so it's a lot of, uh, you know... I don't know. I find the best bet is to just go directly from the grace almost any time you're trying to find something. Okay. On flesh. It should be right around here. There it is. Doors buried in the side of the mountain. Welcome to the consecrated snowfield catacombs. One of the last catacombs, but. Definitely one of the worst. So, uh, this is a good spot to wrap. Wow, look at all those runes. 346,000. You're going to notice that a lot in these zones. You're just going to be like, mm, 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 just kind of going along, and then all of a sudden it's just like runes. Just shit tons of runes. Uh, so, let's talk levels. As long as I have my great rune active, you're at 60, you're at 55, and you're at 55. Um, and I still have 10 points of wiggle room. So. I can maybe a little more endurance. Or actually, I could probably go a little bit more mind just for casting. 10 points of mind would be quite helpful. 20 mind, I'd have a. Uh, that would be good. Yeah, because the rune helps you and you and you. And if I want to turn off the rune and use a different rune, I could use my source seal and achieve the same results. I would just be taking more damage, which is less than ideal, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, at this point, these, these stats are basically done. You know, because this is effectively 60, 55, and 55. If we get out of the uh, the login screen and we go over to stats, you know, this is this is a, a fully rounded out quality build. We've hit in uh, some soft caps on strength and dex. Our vigors at its soft cap. Our endurance is enough that we have a big ass shield and we still have a medium load. We have, you know, just some spot faith to use the cheapest spells we got available. I mean, that's all coming in from our rune, obviously. Uh, without the rune active, I would lose access to all the, the faith and the arcane and I have, so this isn't, you know, the spells wouldn't be included if you tried to take this into PvP. It would very much be, you know, the basics that we already have. Uh, but anyway, we are going to wrap things up here in the next episode. Well, just, just to give you an idea, you can pretty much go wherever you want in this zone and explore if you want to go on your own. Um, we are going to be knocking out the Consecrated Catacombs, which is pretty intense. Uh, after that, we're going to go over here to the Inner Snowfield, knock out some stuff in this area, go over here and get Theodorix, go to the Cave of the Forlorn and get one of our legendary armaments. Uh, and then from there, it looks like... We kind of swing around and get everything on the map uh, and then go over to here. But one thing that we will get a lot of in this area is going to be smithing eights. So by the time we're done it, you will have a plus 25 weapon. And if you wanted to rush that right now, uh, that would be this little hole right here. If you go on in there, you get this plus H that you need to get your, your plus 25. We're going to get there. There's just some other things I want to tackle first. But so either way, we're wrapping up and I'll catch you all soon as we continue.